name is Kara Simonson. I went to school at University of California, San Diego, and my major was Ecology, Behavior, and Evolution. And I am now studying to get my master's degree at UCSD uh, in marine biology. Ecology, or my major, is studies and focuses on the living organisms and how they behave and interact with all their natural environment. So whether it's marine life or terrestrial, it's all of how natural processes work uh, in the environment and systems which include organisms, animals, plants, everything. And that's what ecology in my major is about. I chose ecology. Uh, UCSD did not have a marine biology major. Uh, they do now, however, uh, I am very interested in marine biology. So ecology does cover a marine section. Like I said, there's terrestrial and then, uh, which is land, environmental systems, and then there's the marine work of it. So I really enjoy uh, spending time with marine organisms and marine ecosystems, specifically tropical systems such as coral reefs, fish, uh, and how all those systems work together. So students who are interested in science, uh, the natural environment, or even any kind of conservation uh, should pursue an ecology degree. Uh, a lot of ecology is science-based, so if you're interested in any kind of chemistry, biology, uh, and like I said, conservation of the environment, marine, terrestrial work, uh, or even just animals in general, uh, they should pursue an ecology degree. So right after graduation with an ecology major, there are a lot of options. Uh, ecology is very science-based, so a lot of job opportunities are research jobs, such as a biologist, uh, a research technician, associate. Um, so there's a lot of jobs right out of school that you can be applied to um, in research. Also, there are government jobs, such as, like I said, a technician or a wildlife ecologist. Uh, there's also opportunities for ecology majors to get into public relations because how humans interact with the environment is also really important. So there's jobs relating to regulations and rules and how companies affect the environment and uh, people with ecology majors could be that liaison between the environment and say the community or a company. Uh, there's also higher schooling that you can pursue, so a lot of students with ecology majors can go uh, right into graduate school. For instance, uh, a master's degree, a PhD, uh, a lot of those do have to do with research, uh, such as marine biology or plant ecology, um, and those would obviously lead to another research position or another kind of managerial position as well. A lot of people also take the route of going to veterinary school, uh, also to work with kind of uh, how animals behave in the environment and uh, specific marine or land animals as well. But ecology is so broad, you can go into so many different fields. There's environmental law, there is environmental engineering, so whether you're pursuing a job or higher education, such as graduate school or a higher degree, there's so many ways that you could take your undergraduate learning as an ecology major. Uh, there's a lot of general basic knowledge in science that is required for ecology, so uh, lower division classes would include general biology, chemistry, physics, and even math, because all of those concepts go into a science degree and whether in which direction you're going into. Uh, and then as, start, as you start getting into upper division classes, there's a lot of intro classes, so intro to ecology, intro to marine biology, and you start learning about how systems work in the natural environment, which includes the system itself and all the organisms that are a part of it. Uh, laboratories are actually a, a really big part of the ecology degree as well. So there you get experience getting field work, uh, dealing with data, real data, uh, trying to analyze it, and then writing about it and how it's significant in the actual environment and ecolog ecological process. 
uh, one of those classes was actually one of my favorites. It was the ecology lab and every week we would go out into the fields, we would collect data, so whether it was uh, on flowers and their color and their size, and we would collect that data, bring it back to the lab, look at it, analyze it, do statistics on it, and then write about it in a paper and how it applies to the environment itself. Uh, also, a really big uh, factor into the ecology scheme is statistics. Uh, a lot of it has to do with research and dealing with data and basically how that data uh, reflects on how the environment and those systems, how they're working. So some high school classes that would prepare you for an ecology degree would be uh, basic science topics such as biology, chemistry, physics, all those apply to ecology because it is science-based, uh, especially biology. Uh, I know a lot of biology classes now are talking about environment and how systems work. Uh, even now there's marine biology classes offered and I wish my high school had a marine biology class uh, uh, because that I think is a really big issue and a growing issue here, um, how the marine environment works. Uh, another class that I wish I would have taken, but I think it's really important to ecology, is a statistics class. Uh, it does, uh, ecology does have a lot of statistics in it. If you're going to go into the research direction, um, it's just how, how you deal with the data that you have um, and how you collect your data, analyze it, and, and make sense of it. I would tell high school students that find what you're passionate about. If you are really passionate about writing, then go for writing. But if you really love science and something in science, then I would definitely follow it. Uh, I would do what makes you happy, not what your parents make, want you to do, uh, what you think is going to make you say the most money, but you're going to hate it. I would definitely say follow your passion, find what you like, and just stick with it. Uh, and I think that's led me to where I am and I love what I do and I wouldn't change any part of my path.